Hi everyone, welcome back to another video uh, where I show you how you can basically build a strategy that works, that will bring you to consistency and profitability when trading Forex. And hopefully this video will help you in building your strategy, or maybe you can take the strategy and use it and I'm sure it will be of great benefit to you. I'm not sure why I hadn't shared this idea before, but it's, it's a repeating pattern in the market. And it's something that you can look out for. And once you see, once you've trained your eye to see it, well, as we say, you can't unsee what you've seen already. And this is the case as well. It's a particular pattern where you're going to see the imbalance you're gonna see consolidation, you're gonna see liquidity taken, you're gonna see a shift in structure, you're gonna see break of structure. And with the break of structure, you can look for a return to the order block and you can look for your entry going, whether it's up or down. In this case, it's a bullish uh, entry. All right, so let me go through and mark up the charts for you to understand what took place here. So this is the pattern that we're looking at, right? So here we have the imbalance. Let me zoom out on this. Oh. Right, so we saw where price made some touches to this, what would have been seen as support for our retail friends who trade the retail way. We're not um, hitting on how they trade, but that we know that there are, I would say, ways to avoid getting stopped out and to avoid being the victims of losing, losing trades more often than not. So here would have seen the buildup of liquidity we see the draw on liquidity here. So let me just annotate that. So this is sell side liquidity and it was taken. This is the, the doji that created the, the sweep. Right, and um, so we saw that. So price was already was already in a bearish momentum. It consolidated, then continued down. Then we saw where the the market kind of paused here, and then we saw this move up. This move up is what we would consider a shift in market structure. So from here to here. And with this shift in market structure, what validates this shift is the fact that it broke structure. So it broke structure here and then created this order block, which also broke structure here. So let's also annotate that. It will come together eventually. That's a shift. Then break of structure basically started here. Maybe even low, but there was a break of structure. Right. Also here. Ah. Right. So let's annotate those as well. And if you see how small. Those are, if you're really not training your eyes to see it, you will miss it. But this was a signal that the market was changing its direction in terms of price, if, in terms of where price was going. So having seen that and seen this order block that created this even more break of structure, because yes, you could have entered here, you could have looked for an entry here with, with um 
with the fact that this also created a break of structure, but I tend to want to wait for confirmation. And this was the confirmation that price wanted to continue higher. So I'd be looking for an entry here instead of here. But yes, an entry could have been gotten here. So let's highlight this order block here. So, okay, right. So, if we notice, we would have gotten basically a perfect entry because price came well, not perfect, but almost perfect. This is the fifty percent mark, which is why. I tend to prefer to enter at the top of the candle as opposed to the 50% because price does not always trigger you into the trade and you will miss a very good trade. So we would have entered here on this order block. So let's annotate that as well. Because this is the order block plus where we expect the return to the order block. In terms of, well, I'll show you where a tick profit would logically be, but let's see what the return would be on this trade. I would also, I'm just showing you on the 30 minute time frame, but I would also have refined this order block and gotten a better risk to reward trade on either the five minute or the one minute time frame. But this is just to go through to show you what is to be done and how it's done and what everything means. So the entry would have been here. Stop loss at the bottom of the candle. Right there. Because the stop loss is quite huge. And then as it relates to take profit, we would have taken profit logically at the just above these highs because guess what? There's more liquidity resting up here. So we're expecting price to go above these highs. Well, we're not sure how far, but I'm gonna show you how you're gonna know exactly where it will go. So let's see what type of risk to reward would have gone here. It's uh, almost six to one, very good. But I'm sure if we refine the order block, this probably would have doubled. Now, let me show you something. When you see the imbalance like this, right? Take your fib. Uh, let me get this right. Let's zoom out a little. Right. All right. So the fib from the bottom to the top of the imbalance right there. I think it's a little bit off, let's see. Right, just about there, anyway. And let's mark out the 50%. Get this off. Oops. And let's see where that 50% mark falls. See where it falls? That's where price went to. Price, maybe, maybe, maybe my fib has not been so exact, but it is the 50% mark that price went back to. So the truth is, you could have set your first target for your take profit here and maybe taken off 85 to 90% of the trade here at the highs and then left about 10 or 15% to run to the 50% of the imbalance. When it gets here, you're based on reasonable expectation that it 
price, when price hits a 50% imbalance, it will reverse. So with the reversal, you can also get another trade here that will take you down below these lows because there's also more liquidity resting here. Or it might be a mitigation of an order block. However you choose to do it, it's, you're, neither, you're not wrong. And so you'd have gotten a free trade here because you would have been risking one or two, one or one or 0.5 percent of what you would have made here from the profits you made here. So this is a hedge, free hedge trade, and that's how you'd have gotten two lovely trades uh, from this setup. But if you train your eyes to look on the pairs that you're following, if you're following specific pairs or if you're just looking generally at all the pairs to see what setup, setups are there, train your eyes to find this pattern, the imbalance, the consolidation, the drawn liquidity, the breakout structure. It doesn't have to always be in this same direction, but it will be the same idea. Look for where you can place your entry from the shift of the market structure. Remember, it's only valid if it breaks structure and when it breaks structure, look for your entry within that order block and you'll be good to go. First take profit here, leave a little bit more to run to the 50%, look for a, another trade in the, in the opposite direction. Tends to play out that way. It's a pattern that repeats itself all the time in the markets. So I hope this was valuable to you. I hope it will help you to improve your trading. I hope you can, what you can do is go back and back test this pattern and um, see how much you can grasp the concept because it's something that you'll have to train your eyes to see. And uh, it's a winning strategy. I'd say I'll, I'm not, nobody's perfect, but it's almost 100% sure most of the time. And um, once you get it right, that is. So, Happy trading and um, continue to learn because the learning process never ends. And if we're going to get better at what we do, we're constantly learning and evolving and growing. So, yeah, have a great day, a great weekend. And I truly hope this helps you. Take care.